everyone this is prophet j from j academy and today i am going to do sequential multiplication so first of all i am going to tell you about the circuit that we are having so here we have got three registers a q and m register a will be all initially it will be zero it is n bit long register q is going to hold the multiplier and register m is going to hold the multiplicand now there are certain few things that is there in the circuit so we have a adder we have a multiplexer we have a control sequencer and we have a carry flag now the work the uh, the operation is uh, that each register is going to hold n bit and depending on the lsb least significant bit of the register q the control sequencer will decide whether it is going to give an operation add or no add if q not is equal to 1 then the sequencer control sequencer will produce a signal call add then the content of multiplexer will be added to the content of register a and it is placed in register a but if it is no add then no value will be added to the register a that means the content of register a remains the same and and after each operation that is add or no add there is a shifting towards the right okay because register a and q are shift registers so that is the operation and the there will be total number of uh, we can see in the algorithm here n times that means you have to do this uh, checking the bit q not whether it's 1 or 0 then add or no add and shifting right this we have to do n time that means n will be the number of bits in the multiplier so the multiplier register if it is having if it is having 4 bits then four times this operation has to be done so we'll say it as four cycle of four iteration so after the four cycles is done the content of a and q is going to hold the product of the two numbers okay let's do a problem now we are taking as an example that we have a multiplicand that is 13 which is m and 11 which is told in the register q which is the multiplier so 13 is 1101 and 11 is 1011 and a will be initially 0000 and we have a carry flag as 0 so this is the initial configuration and uh, we will start the proceeding now so in the first cycle depending on the value of q not it has to decide whether add or no add so since it is 1 1 indicates add so the content of a that is 0000 is added with the content of m which is 1101 so we are getting 1101 and we and it is placed in a itself so after adding we have a operation called shift right so one bit it is shifting towards this side on the right side so you have got this one is going out so 1 0 1 this one is going to come here then 0 1 1 this zero will come from the carry the so carry will be fed with zero again so that is the first cycle like that we will go for the second cycle in the second cycle we have to decide whether we have to add or no add So since it is one, we have to add a plus m. So the value of a is now zero one one zero, and the value of m is one one zero one. So when we add zero one zero one, so this one is going to the carry flag. Okay, so that is why this has become one, and the content of a is zero zero one one. After that, you need to shift right. so when you shift right the content of q becomes 0 1 1 1 
and the content of a will be 1001 okay now we'll go to the third cycle so this is my third cycle depending on the value of q naught which is 0 it will decide add or no add so it is 0 since it is 0 it will be no add okay so no add means the content of a remains the same so a was 1001 so it will remain as 1001 next we need to shift right so you shift right one place towards this side so it is 111 this one is coming 001 this zero is going to come so that is my third cycle now we'll go for the fourth cycle in the fourth cycle this value is 1 it indicates we need to add so a has to be added with m so when it is added 0 1 0 0 plus 1 1 0 1 it will be so this will go to the carry flag so the content of a is 0 0 0 1 and the carry flag become 1 now it has to shift right so if you shift right so this one is coming here 0 0 0 and this one is going to come here and the content of A and Q will give the product so now if you check this is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so 128 plus 8 136 plus 4 140 2 plus 1 that is 143 so 13 into 11 is 143 so we got the answer so uh, if you have any question you can write in the comment thanks for watching if you like this video and you find that this video is very informative so you can subscribe my channel and you can like this video and do comment and share thank you very much